In this video, we will talk about drug receptor interactions. We will give definition of the term drug, what does the term receptor mean, and also we'll explain a receptor's binding sites. Pharmacology studies drugs and their interactions with living organisms. In a broad sense, a drug is any substance that induces functional changes in an organism through a chemical or physical action, regardless of whether the resulting effect is beneficial or detrimental to the health of the receiving organism. In a strictest medical sense, a drug is a chemical substance of known structure, other than a nutrient or an essential dietary supplement which, when administered to the organism, produces a biological effect and is used in the diagnosis, treatment or prevention of diseases or as a component of medication. Receptor it is the cellular molecule which function is modulated by interaction with the drug and initiates the chain of events leading to the drug's observed effects. The concept of a receptor refers to the principle first introduced by Paul Ehrlich. Substances do not act if not bound. The substance that binds to its receptor in general is called ligand. In other words, drug molecules must get so close to these constituent cellular molecules that the two interact chemically in such a way that the function of the latter is altered and drug receptor complex is formed. Receptor activation leads to some cell or tissue response or to the release of second messengers that cause this response. After that, ligand dissociates from the receptor. The term receptor also indicates a molecule used by cells to bind a diffusible substance either released in the extracellular space by other cells for communication. Let's say like first messengers, neurotransmitters, hormones, autocoids, or present there as an exogenous ligand. Receptors have become the central focus of investigation of drug effects and their mechanisms of action. Part of pharmacology that studies drugs effects and their mechanisms of action is called pharmacodynamics. Nowadays, many drugs receptors have been isolated and characterized in details, thus opening the way to precise understanding of the molecular basis of drugs action. Now we know what do drug and receptor mean. And we are ready to talk about receptor binding sites. These binding sites are often referred to as drug targets. And in general, each receptor has more than one binding site. The ligand can bind its receptor at orthosteric and or allosteric sites. Prefix ortho from Greek means straight, main, and identifies main binding sites for the receptor. Prefix ala from Greek means other and identifies other binding sites. Here we should understand that we are talking about orthosteric binding site as about main binding site for endogenous ligands, for our own, let's say, physiological molecules like acetylcholine, epinephrine, dopamine and many others. These endogenous molecules or ligands in majority of cases bind to the orthosteric binding site. Also drugs are able to bind to this orthosteric binding site. Occupation of orthosteric sites modifies the receptor function, usually activating it. Receptor activation leads to some cell or tissue response or to the release of second messengers that cause this response. Keep in mind Drugs are also able to bind with allosteric binding site. And what is important, each receptor has a lot of allosteric binding sites. Ligand occupation of allosteric sites does not activate or inhibit receptor's function, but modifies or modulates the receptor response to its physiological ligand. 
These kinds of ligands are called allosteric modulators. Because they modulate receptor function, the modulate receptor responds to its physiological ligand, which binds to orthosteric binding site.